What's up, o doers? Welcome back. Today, we're going to walk through how to resupply products from our distribution center to one of our furniture stores. At Stealthy Wood, we handle procurement, quality checks, and store everything in our distribution center. When our stores like Neighborhood Wood run low, restocked items come from there. To resupply warehouses, Odoo creates a delivery order containing the desired products to send them from a source warehouse to the store. Now, let's see how to restock through another warehouse using Odoo. First, we need to make sure a couple settings are enabled to support resupply between warehouses. Let's head to configuration, then down to settings, and we're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom for our warehouse section, and let's go ahead and make sure that storage locations and multi-step routes are enabled. Looks good, however, if you're enabling these for the first time, make sure to click save at the top before moving on. Now, let's configure our two warehouses. We can go ahead and do that by clicking configuration and then selecting warehouses, or we can directly click the link under the setting multi-step routes for set warehouse routes. Here, you'll see each of my warehouses in my database, including our distribution center, as well as neighborhood wood, the store we're configuring for today. So let's go ahead and click Neighborhood Wood. And on the warehouse configuration page, you're going to notice the short name is Shop. That means every inventory document for the store will start with this. The address field is for the shop, not for Stealthy Wood's company address. It's crucial that we configure these addresses correctly on the warehouse form to avoid deliveries being sent to the wrong location or worse, the same place. Imagine sending a shipment from Stealthy Wood's distribution center to itself Oh, doopsies, at least there'd be no shipping cost anyway. Next is the warehouse configuration tab directly below. We're going to go ahead and choose the warehouse that supplies this store. In the resupply from field here, we're going to go ahead and tick the distribution center. And this makes sure that the resupply route to replenish from the distribution center appears in the inventory tab on the product form. It should also be noted that you can select multiple warehouses here. It will give you those more options when you configure reordering rules. And don't worry, you're going to see that later in the video. If your store doesn't manufacture or buy directly from vendors, feel free to uncheck those other options like we're going to do right now. Next, let's go ahead and configure the Regency couch to be resupplied from the distribution center with a route and reordering rule. So it's restocked whenever it runs out at the store. To do that, we're going to go to products at the top and then select products once again. And then we're going to simply click on our Regency couch. Now on the product form, we're going to go to the inventory tab. And we want to make sure that we have our neighborhood wood route selected. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a reordering rule to automate this process. So let's go ahead and click the reordering rule smart button here at the top. And then we're just going to go ahead and click new. We're going to set the location here to be our shop stock. And as for the route, we're going to go ahead and select our neighborhood wood route. In the minimum and maximum fields, I'll set both of those quantities to one. And that's because I only want one in stock at a time. For more information about how reordering rules work, be sure to check out our other team's videos on that. Phew. With all that set up out of the way, let's begin again in the sales application. Let's say I'm Neighborhood Wood and we're about to sell our last couch so we can see how Odoo resupplies our store. So let's start by creating a new quotation by selecting new. And for our customer, we're going to set it to Deco Addict. From here, we're going to add our Regency couch in the order lines. And now we got to make sure we're selling from our shop. So we're going to go to the other info tab and scroll down to our delivery section. We're going to change our warehouse from distribution center to Neighborhood Wood. And then next, all I have to do is click Confirm. Then we're going to go ahead and click the Delivery Smart button. And now let's check to make sure everything looks OK. The delivery is from the Neighborhood Wood store since it says it's coming from our shop. Now we can go ahead and click Validate. And the couch is now sent to the customer. Because we've sold the last couch, Odoo triggers the reordering rule to resupply from the distribution center. Now let's go back to the inventory application and look at our warehouse transfers that Odoo has generated for us. On the warehouse overview page, let's group all of our operations by warehouse. We can go ahead and do that by clicking the down arrow in the search bar and then clicking warehouse in the group by section. In the distribution center column, Odoo created a delivery order for us and we could see that here in our delivery order card. And that's to transfer the product to the store. 
we go to the neighborhood wood column here, we can see that we have a receipt card that shows we are waiting in operation for the shop to receive the product from the main warehouse. Now, if we go back to the distribution center column and click the one to deliver in the delivery uh, order card, then the first thing on the list is the, going to be our delivery order. Then we can click that. Uh, we can go ahead and verify that the source document is from the reordering rule indicated by the OP, that stands for order point, which is short for the source of reordering rule. Then we can go ahead and click the validate button here to send the couch to the delivery address for neighborhood wood. Next, all we have to do is click the next transfer smart button to go directly to the receipt for Neighborhood Wood. And now let's say I've teleported to Neighborhood Wood to receive the shipment. Notice the short prefix for shop here. That means we're in a different place from before. From here, all we have to do is click validate to complete the receipt and process the rest of the order. And there you have it, Odoers. That's how you can resupply stores from another warehouse. To learn more about stocking your warehouses, check out our other inventory tutorials. Until then, I will see you next time.